Hello there, and welcome to my social pathology video, by which you understand the underlying mechanics of today's social problems, and by which you can also reconfirm your life direction. This time, I would like to discuss the news that so many dogs who were once adopted when the pandemic started are now being returned to the animal shelters. This is our topic today. My name is Dr. Samurai, a uh, professor specialized in uh, international social pathology and also active prison counselor of 20 years experience and uh, one time uh, Nobel Peace Prize Award official animal guest. As usual, first I would like to uh, introduce brief general information and then like to move on to our main discussion. Okay, let's start. As I have said, when the corona pandemic started, so many people subconsciously were afraid that uh, they could be lonely while they spend their time in their own room without anybody else or only with their family members. So uh, they rushed to the animal shelters to adopt cute puppies. But now Corona vaccine covered so many people and uh, they are ready to go back to work. They have certainly noticed that uh, there's nobody available to take care of their dogs while they are at work. And consequently, they decided to put it back to where they first adopted them. There are so many other additional reasons they could mention, like uh, they do not act like they are expecting. They are not puppy anymore, or they don't get along with their pet that they had originally. And they are having a new real human baby and stuff but uh, but uh, but this phenomenon really means socially it means one thing lack of empathy that could lead to uh, neglect because they took their self pursuit before the adopted family and they are treating them like things that can be changeable anytime. It is usually said returning rate is between 7% to 20%. The number is said to have doubled this time. So that is a significant number and they all have feelings it is said that the level of animal welfare indicates the level of their country's welfare in other words if you see how animals are treated in that country, you can tell the real quality of the country. You know why? Because animals are the weakest in the society. And to the weakest existence, our true selves are very easy to show up. Many people say that is not the human beings. Now, what is problematic is 
not the target, but the subject who does that. They can easily return the dogs whom they adopted as part of their family to animal shelters that could kill the dog that you return. I talked about two root causes destroying today's world. I said one is sectionalism and the other is biophobia. Sectionalism is that it is okay if I am okay or my family is okay or my friends are okay. They are only interested in uh, themselves and those who directly have to do with themselves. That is the sectionalism. Their own territory only matters. And by biophobia, I meant human beings and the human civilizations are now splitting away from nature and especially animals. That is the very symbol and representative of nature. They see uh, cows, they only see steaks. They see deers, that is the target of their hunting or the target of their sports. And uh, this is the value today. If everybody cares about animals like your loved ones this whole world and this planet earth will be safe and peaceful forever because caring about animals includes both denial of sectionalism and denial of biophobia in this case i'm talking about animals in general, not only your pets. I always think about the social problems in terms of dynamics. Our actions always produce reactions. Shallow empathy of ourselves is uh, leading to uh, shallow empathy to uh, other human beings or more directly to our own children. So in my deep analysis, that is the reason why United States are now seeing so many uh, mass shootings everywhere because those mass shooters are not raised on unconditional love. They are neglected like those dogs once adopted or returned to animal shelters like things any living beings when they go through puberty they are out of our control for a certain period of time but they will come back if you love them unconditionally they are struggling themselves to be independent. That applies to human beings and also animals. Around the age of one, they are transforming from puppies to uh, adult dog. So they could go wild too. But uh, if you love them, once they settle down, they appreciate what you did during those years. They are not things, but uh, because we love them even when they are going through uh, difficult times with our unconditional love, after that hard period, they will become our true flesh and blood. Does this make sense to you? because we shared difficult times never giving up on them. They gave the same thing back when they reached stability. If you were giving up on them, if 
you do not have this period of loving them even if they do not listen to what you have to say you can never know one important thing as human beings that could be the most important thing as human beings so of course practical level the society needs to make it more difficult for people to adopt animals they must have a couple of weeks for a testing period there needs to be some people who uh, go inspecting what is really happening including the chemistry between the family and animals also even when they return their adopted dogs they must do their best to make sure the dog's life be safe not like passing them on to uh, someone whom you don't know at all on the internet they could use your dog who was once your family member for abuse and uh, animal experience and this is a sick world and we in every country must make the law much more strict that makes sure the welfare of animals because that makes the basic tone of our society how we treat the weakest in the society makes the very basis of our society by making a society safer for animals that is going to be the society which is safe for little kids which is safe for elderly in a nutshell this returning adopted dogs to the animal shelters as soon as this corona pandemic is almost over indicates the lack of social empathy and in such a society empathy is very shallow anything could happen empathy is the safety net of our society which we cannot actually see but protect us even in the worst situation not only you but also your loved ones this is today's values from me to you if you like this kind of story please uh, click that uh, red dr samurai rogos and also i picked up my best video playlist and uh, ending scenes so up until next time please have a peaceful and wonderful time and please think about what you can do to make this society with higher empathy thank you very much and you have a good day okay bye bye now